Hi there. I've decided to cook you something very special that I haven't made in a long time. Meatloaf. Ground beef, ketchup, onion, egg, orange pepper, garlic, salt, oregano, some soup crackers because I don't have any bread, some steak sauce, and a little beer. The beer's not for the meatloaf. Warning for vegetarians. I'm going to start off with about a pound and a half of ground beef. And with my rubber gloves, I'm going to crack an egg or two into it. It's very nice color, isn't it? Now I'm going to crunch these up so they act like breadcrumbs. Do you know how to act like breadcrumbs? Didn't you go to Lee Strasberg Acting School? Hey man, what's your motivation? Are you a method actor? Actually, this beer will really come in handy now, and it's my favorite. It actually does add up to about a cup, and that's what we want. And we add that to the batch. I think it's time for the beer, and I think this one's going to explode on me. Oh, yeah! Got it. <laughs> Back to the meatloaf. Now let's add the orange bell pepper. I just chopped half this onion, and it's going to join the meatloaf. <laughs> not really upset you know it's just the onion now some people use Worcestershire and some people can't say Worcestershire here's the most famous one of all I think I'll still use a little bit of that with a little bit of the ketchup so the ketchup doesn't feel bad it's really looking colorful I got the onions in there I got the chopped beef in there I got the breadcrumbs in there mm. sorry I didn't know we were back on now for the fun part. Do you know what it is? It's not me taking off my clothes. It's mixing up the meatloaf batch. Don't mix it up too much so it'll stay nice and tender. Ready for the pan. But here's the thing. I don't have a meatloaf pan, so I've had to improvise. Mm -mm. Sorry. I'm gonna put this beautiful meatloaf mixture into this Pyrex pan with parchment paper. Pyrex dish and parchment paper, Pyrex dish and parchment paper, Pyrex dish and parchment paper. Now it's not easy to do. Oh, it was pretty easy. Just try and shape it like a meatloaf. Good. Oh yeah. And now it's time to put this on top of that. I did this last weekend to a friend after a couple of beers, but we were using baby oil on each other. Ready for the oven. 350 for 60 minutes. They're my dollies. It's ready. Gonna have to get rid of all that grease. Well, the interesting part is I have to lift this baby out with the parchment paper and carry it into the sink to drain out all that oil. It's coming out. The pan is clean thanks to the parchment paper. So I let the meatloaf cool off and I'm going to cut it up and show you. Well, here I go with the cutting and what? Oh! I can't wait to heat it up and serve it to myself. <laughs> I've had such a headache since I've woken up. Wonder why. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm Marla Lakovsky. For what will I eat next during the COVID? This looks delicious. Mm.